Hi everyone, it's me Erin again and I just wanted to welcome you back to my channel. This is the look that I chose to do today. I did decide to do another look with my beloved electric palette. I really really like this palette. As everybody knows, it is a palette full of very bright neon colors. I think this is a really good palette for everybody just because even if you like neutrals, this is a good palette to get all your colors and be able to do a pop of color or to do something a little bit more dramatic like the look I have. So it's a great beginner palette where you get all your colors in one and then you can use your neutral palettes that your your neutral eyeshadows that you already have and just throw in a little pop under the eye or you can go full on dramatic like the first look I did or doing something that's a little bit more in the same color family like the look I'm gonna do today. If you guys have any other questions or any, please leave those below, any comments. I hope you like, subscribe, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Without further ado, I really hope you guys enjoy, and if you are interested in how to get this look on my face, then I hope you continue to watch and see if you can learn something new. Bye. Oh, and I don't know why I'm holding this palette up like this. Like, Yay! Stay tuned for the tutorial. Bye! Okay, so let's go ahead and get this look started. I did already mention we are going to be using the electric palette. So this is my look number two. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. Primer I'm going to use is Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm actually going to go ahead and apply this with my finger and as you can see I, I did already do my brows my brows I used my Anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown I'm gonna go ahead and apply this base you do want to use a base especially since these colors are so pigmented and on my fair skin ladies you definitely want to use a base because some of the colors could stain so as you can tell, after me putting the soft over paint pot, I went ahead and I went ahead, repeating myself, I went ahead and I did go ahead and complete one eye just for time purposes. So I'm first going to start out with my uh, Makeup Geek All Matte Palette that I created and I'm going to use this color right over here, which is this kind of reddish warm brown. It's called Coco Bear. So I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC. 214 brush and I'm just gonna pick a little bit of that up and I'm gonna put this in my crease area so we're gonna go ahead and run that in the crease just so it happens to to give a little bit of warmth in the look I'm not gonna do too heavy of an application because I am gonna apply this color again later but I just want to put this down so I have a color for transitions especially since I'm gonna be working with so we're going to go ahead and just do a relatively white layer of that from inner to outer, from the outer to the inner. You know what I mean. Going to use my brush that came with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which is this brush right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start out with this silver color. I'm going to start with this color right here, which is called Revolt. We're just going to pick some of that up. And we're going to apply it on the whole entire lid. So we're going to work that from the inner. And we're just going to rub that. Rub sounds really wrong. We're going to go ahead and not necessarily pack it. I want to go ahead. If you've already had your foundation done, you want to go ahead and press it. And then windshield wiper motions from inner to outer. You don't necessarily have to worry about the outer corner as much, but you definitely want this to be on the inner. Don't go higher than your crease to outer. So it should look something like that. Now the next color we're gonna go ahead and pick is we're gonna go ahead and pick up Jilted right here. And we're basically just gonna do a layered effect. So I'm gonna pick up Jilted, same brush. Go ahead and get that color on there. And again, Hold it. So you're going to go from the inner to the outer. And this is going to give you kind of almost like a iridescent look. You're going to definitely get that jilted color, which already gives you a fuchsia and purple mix. 
this is gonna throw silver in there so it's just gonna give you some extra dimension which is really really pretty again don't go any higher than the crease all right so you should look something like that make sure there's no spots missing the next color we're gonna go ahead and use is we're actually gonna go ahead and take this color right here which is called urban same brush again this is a really easy look because we're using the same brush so less tools and not only that but it's a brush that came with the palette so that much better so again we're gonna go not all the way to the inner I would say you're gonna leave not quite a third but a little bit less than a third so we're gonna start about right look at my lid we're gonna start about right there and we're going to excuse me my nose itches we're gonna go ahead again and cover the whole lid except for the very very inner part that part you are gonna leave blank you're just gonna leave that with the color of jilted and that silver because you want the inner lid to be a little bit lighter so again we're gonna do windshield wiper motions remembering not to go above the crease to make sure that you get the inner corner you just want to lightly tap over it and make sure that it is nicely blended where you did put that silver and the chilted you want it to you know transition and blend into that urban so now you should have a look similar to that okay next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Mac 219 brush which is a nice little pencil brush and I'll go ahead and pick up chaos which is the darker blue so you're gonna go ahead and get that on your brush. Now you're gonna put this in your outer, you know what, before we even get there, I'm forgetting a step. Before you do that chaos color, you're going to just blend out right where your crease is, right where all the colors are. Cause you wanna make sure that nothing went above your crease, but you just wanna blend that out so you don't have any harsh lines. Sorry, I almost forgot that step. So just go ahead and take the original brush that you were using which was my MAC 224 brush which is what I applied Cocoa Bear with and I'm just gonna go back in the crease and make sure there's no hard lines just windshield wiper back and forth from inner to outer so you should have something like that now we're gonna go ahead and go with that 217 brush with the color chaos on it and you're gonna put this in your outer V so I'm gonna come in here and I'm just not worried I want I'm more worried about application and putting it in there and getting it okay so you should look something like that go ahead and start with a little bit because we are gonna blend and build up to the intensity don't worry about this little bit of fallout this is the reason why I didn't do my foundation first now I'm gonna go ahead and take my 217 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out now I'm going to do windshield wiper motions, I'm going to do circular motions, but I'm going to concentrate this color on that outer third, that V shape that we just created with the chaos. So you're just going to blend that out till it's nicely blended. Once you have that blended, should look something like that now you're gonna build this up until the intensity that you like so I'm gonna go ahead back with my 219 brush picking up some more chaos and I'm just gonna reapply that color to the outer V then I'm gonna go back with my 217 brush and reblend using windshield wiper motions and circular it's basically the same step over and over so you want to make sure there's no harsh lines between that purple urban and the chaos. So once I have that blended, that is about the intensity that I like right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the other blue. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Gonzo. And Gonzo is this top color. I'm going to put this on the inner outer V that we created. So my outer V is right in here. I'm actually going to put this right on the outer third of the lid, creating kind of another V inside the outer V that I created. And I'm just going to put that in there on the outer third of the lid, kind of to give it a nice gradient effect. And again, I'm going to pick up my 217 brush 
and blend it out. Now, I want to make sure after that step that everything transitions, that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. So I'm going to go back in with my original Urban Decay brush that came with the palette. And I'm using the bigger side and I'm going to pick up some more of that color Urban. And I'm just going to place that on top of where I did the Gonzo right on top of that and I'm just gonna slightly go over it to make sure that the colors blend together and that there are no harsh lines and then I'm gonna pick up my 217 brush again and just blend basically layering the colors on top of each other now once that is done I'm gonna go in with my 224 brush and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that cocoa bear and I'm gonna go back in that crease where I applied it before and blend everything out above the crease so that way there's no harsh lines. Once that is blended out, I'm going to pick up the Ambient Lighting Trio, the lightest color, which is this color right here, and apply it directly under my brow. That is going to be, or be, sorry, my brow bone highlight. It's got a little bit of a glow to it, but it really doesn't have shimmer. Considering that this look already has so much shimmer in it, I don't want to use a shimmery highlight. When everything is said and done, should look something like that. I'm going to go ahead and clean, and I'm just going to take this this wet wipe put my finger in there and I'm gonna wipe under my eye and make a straight line out headed directly towards my brow I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner and do my lashes and I'm gonna come right back to you I went ahead and put mascara on and I put on my lash so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on camera just so you can see it now I am using a new mascara and this is the it tight line full lash length black primer mascara it kind of does double duty because in a way it it tight lines for you it is really nice to make sure that the roots of your lashes are nice and black I went ahead and already put that one on and now I'm going to use I'm gonna use my matte studio sculpt just because I am wearing false lashes so that way when I put the false lash on the two marry now the lashes that I'm using are that Ardell Wispy Lashes. This is what they look like. They're, they're neutral, but they definitely give a little bit of oomph. I like to use a tweezer. So you want to look down. You're going to I take the tweezer and I'm going to go ahead and come down and I am going to set it right in the middle of it. I go in at the end I grab the lash, I pull it, and I attach it to the outside of my eye. Then I come to the inside and I do the very same thing. I grab it and I stick it down. So we have that in. Just to make sure that everything is dark, I will go back in with my black liner and just go over the line where the glue is to make sure that everything is fully black back to the eyes I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black eyeliner and I'm going to tight line I'm gonna put this in the waterline of the bottom and the liner I'm using is my Smashbox always sharp waterproof cold pencil in the color Raven which is just a the black then I'm gonna go back to that Urban Decay brush and I'm gonna take the smaller side and I am going to blend and smudge that black bringing it down a little bit onto the bottom line then I'm gonna go back into the color jilted and I'm really gonna get that on this brush and I'm gonna get it on the smaller side again and I am going to blend that on the lower lash line and that is also gonna help to set that black liner that we just smudged onto the lower lash line so that'll kind of tie in the look fix everything and make everything complete now what I'm gonna do is I am going to use my notorious Clinique Longwear Bottom Lash Mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on my bottom lashes because or I believe that no look is complete with mascara on the bottom so that is the finished look for the eyes I'm gonna be right back once I put my foundation on and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of the face stay tuned 
the foundation that I went ahead and used is I used my Makeup Forever HD and just in case you're wondering I'm in the color N153 then I went ahead and did my concealer and I did apply that with the Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. Then I went ahead and used my concealer in NW30. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight down the bridge of my nose, the center, cupid bow, side of the mouth, and my chin. And blend that out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC Prep and Prime CC powder, and that is in yellow. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques, the setting setting brush. Pick some of that up, and I'm gonna go ahead and pat underneath my eyes, anywhere that I did concealer and the highlighting. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm patting because I don't want to disturb any of the areas that I did. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS Laguna bronzer with my Eda brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna lightly contour today. I'm not gonna do anything real dramatic. Just gonna kind of get around my large forehead. Top of my hairline my temples anywhere that you want to recede or sculpt out not quite the same as bronzer I will definitely have to do another video because I want to get this all in and not have it cut out even though my battery is going to die. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Sigma P82 and I'm just going to lightly contour my nose. And then I need to contour so it gives me the illusion. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. I did go ahead and finish the bronzer as we remember the last step. I don't have much battery left on my camera. I am going to go ahead. I had to get a new Benefit Rocketeur blush. So that is what I'm going to use. And I'm actually going to use my MAC 159. I don't want anything too crazy just because the eyes are kind of all out. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this kind of on the back side of my cheek, kind of leaving the apples of my cheeks bare. Oh, no makeup, a no mirror makeup challenge would not be my friend. I would look like Bobo the Clown. Anyway, getting that blush on. And blend that out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and, if I can find it, I'm gonna use my Becca Shimmering Press Illuminator in Moonstone. And I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques, what is this called? Contour brush. Just picking up a little bit of that product. Woo! That's pigmented. I'm way out of the frame here. I'm so sorry. Get that in there and buff that out that is pigmented that is the first time i've used that product you need very little and then i'm gonna just take a dab of that and i'm actually gonna use my setting brush and i'm just gonna put a little of that down the center of my nose a little bit on the forehead upper lip on my chin once again just blending that out now for lips i'm gonna go really easy i'm actually gonna use my melted nude from too faced i don't really need a lip liner with this but i'm choosing a nude just because the lips are already so crazy so let's go ahead and apply it before my camera goes out a second time oh this is so pretty I'm so glad Too Faced expanded their range because this is just pretty the formula is perfection I definitely will be picking up the other colors to say the least so that is the final look 
I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for another tutorial. Let me know what you want to see down below. Please comment, subscribe, thumbs up. I'm working really, really hard on these tutorials. It's really hard for me to get them out in a regular basis just because of my health is not the best, but I am really trying. So I hope you guys can bear with me. I really enjoyed making this look and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I think this is definitely a bright color for summer, but it's because it's kind of in the same color family, I think it's a little bit more wearable than the other look that I made. So I'm really, really enjoying this look. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.